Think Waitrose, think food, think delicious recipes from quality ingredients. Consistently voted as the UK's top food retailer and favourite shop, Waitrose is part of the John Lewis Partnership, which can trace its visionary business model to Speed and Lewis back in 1929. The John Lewis Partnership was started to find out what would in fact happen if business were managed otherwise. Managing the business otherwise meant eschewing public ownership for a more philanthropic approach, offering the employees a stake in the business and its profits. Well, we believe that there is a causal link between the way you look after the people that work in the business and the quality of service and product you supply to your customers. Because everybody that works in Waitrose owns Waitrose, they have a real commitment and appetite to make sure that they do the right thing. The Waitrose business approach is based on building a long-term sustainable model, nurturing suppliers through fair price agreements and investing in quality produce whilst growing at a pace consistent with these values. We only grow as quickly as we can grow our people so that they can deliver great service, as quickly as we can grow our supply base. And every time we look at buying another tranche of shops or expanding into a certain area, we do look at all of those things before we make a commitment. But Waitrose is not without ambition. This store in Dubai is proof enough, and an agreement with Welcome Break in the UK is further evidence that the chain is keen to evolve. Everyone deserves quality food, runs the tagline, and with more expansion planned, a free delivery service, and Waitrose Essential, offering everyday affordable prices, the company is expanding its customer base. It's hardly surprising that organisations ranging from the NHS to FTSE 100 companies are keen to emulate this success story. There are many things that we do in the partnership and in Waitrose that are applicable elsewhere. It's understanding the important balance between all of the stakeholders to get the very best outcome. One of the key factors in Waitrose's success is its strong relationship with its suppliers. Every spring they get to showcase their produce to passionate customers at the Waitrose Estate in Leckford, Hampshire. Waitrose manages and owns its own farm here, where it champions commercial but sustainable agriculture to strict environmental principles. Our other suppliers know that we have a farm and can speak credibly about what the issues are because yes we do have many issues within primary agriculture and can therefore understand when they're negotiating when they're talking to other suppliers can really understand what the issues are. The British Curry Company offers its sauces and spicy sausages through Waitrose stores. With smaller suppliers like this Waitrose is keen to offer advice on everything from product promotion to packaging. They've been involved at every single stage you know we've gone down to their head office, they've, a group of people have tasted them, they've said to us, no, can you come back? So at every stage, they've, they've helped us to put on the market what they perceive as the right product. They want us to succeed, and if we succeed, they will succeed. Sharpen Park is another independent supplier dedicated to milling organic British spelt, which is the main ingredient for its range of mousselies and bread. Set up by the founder of Mulberry, the brand has worked closely with Waitrose since its conception. As a small producer, you know, they nurture you, they, they very much look after you and are very sort of generous in their pricing policies and, and what they can realistically expect from a small independent producer. Treating suppliers fairly is written into the partnership constitution and Waitrose is happy to negotiate with both multinational companies and small local independents, so long as they deliver quality produce with provenance. We're working from some very small suppliers who you see in a, uh, at, a, at a festival here up to some of the big multinational operations uh, and, and I think we have to tailor, tailor our relationships to fit those, uh, those specific circumstances. So there'll be instances where we're having a very much of a nurturing relationship and we'll sit down and we'll talk them through step by step what it takes to supply a supermarket business uh, and there'll be others where it's a, more, a much more demanding set of, uh, uh, set of criteria around price, margin, um, promotion support, etc. in order to uh, drive the other end of our, our, our profit and loss. Waitrose's success has clearly demonstrated the benefits of a co-earned business and its ability to compete and even outperform the more conventional operators is the most important illustration of its effectiveness. It's everybody working with a group of partners who are passionate about their business because it is their own business. 
Um, and as a result, you get that automatic sort of enthusiasm and drive and commitment to do well. It's a real buzz to get our products that you've picked or you've seen your colleagues pick in the morning knowing they're going to be on a shelf tomorrow, 24 hours later. That's what food production's all about.